How's it going, everybody? This is Kinema, and we're back on another episode of Unity S and P. So, uh, released that one video, kind of a more serious type video about things I've been noticing. Um, you know, so today I've, uh, it's actually been that was yesterday I released the video. Then late last night or sometime last night I did. Uh, do some exploring and some other stuff today I really haven't noticed much but um, I'm gonna be honest with you I really uh, you know it may completely stop it may not you know I I, I hate uh, hate playing kind of with people and like I said in the video you know sometimes I've had a I've had a lot of stuff like this on multiplayer servers from um, several i haven't really played on any like smp type but i've played on other multiplayer servers and uh where you build and survival type and you know people just go through your things and take what they what they want you know so uh um kind of disappointed that it started happening on unity because i you know season one was awesome but uh anyway i'll leave all that in my old video and go ahead and uh Get into some new stuff so um you may be wondering where i'm at and where i'm at is in the nether as you can see uh the location of this spot is not really to be anyone's concern i am thousands of blocks away and i will try to my best to not release or show the coordinates or location of this place in the uh, in my videos so um, hate to for it to come like that I may build something uh, in well whichever direction spawn is um, may do something around there but I will not keep any of my stuff there and my main projects will be out here between farms and everything else that I would like to, would have liked to do um, if I got a chance to continue at my my place, I keep pointing it that way. I don't I don't know which direction I don't know which direction I am. Um, anyway, the portal it created was actually exactly right down here. The ladders on an edge of the portal, so it's pretty close. So I went ahead and um, pillared up uh, to the top here, cleared out some area. Um, did the calculations, moved the portal to here, and then I went back through the nether and, uh, you know, how normal process on how you link up portals. But let's, uh, let's take a look. So, if everything goes to this plan, this will become my new base. And it's a mushroom biome. So, I've actually have never built in a mushroom biome, but I've always wanted to couple of reasons I don't a couple of reasons why I've huh, some lag I guess maybe the world, world was loading um, a couple of reasons why I've never really built in a mushroom biome there's not much really here I mean you know plants I don't know if they really grow do they I, I mean can you uh, yeah, you can't do do it on that. Can you? Um, where can I break some? So, I guess you could kind of do something, but um, so yeah. And I've I've I haven't really found too many of them so yeah they, they grow and, and leaves nice and vibrant so that's good uh, I don't know about regular glass uh, grass I think my CM does spread so like it technically I think should spread to these spots as well um, so yeah so not sure 100% on some of this stuff but you know figured I'd try you may notice I do have a lot of the stuff that wasn't my ender chest out. That is because I am going to fill my ender chest up and run out this way. Um, 
so yeah so haven't really done too much exploring on this island I may do that on camera uh, I was in a boat for a long time and uh, searched pretty far um, extremely far actually uh, on different areas you may notice some random torches so uh, one positive thing that from my understanding and I have been here during night and I may possibly be true is from from my understanding mobs do not spawn in a mushroom biome uh, I was here at night and I didn't see a single one uh, which is good so the one thing I'm not sure of is is it the entire biome so does that mean all the way down from here to bedrock uh, did they not spawn and are caves and stuff free does that apply to slimes um, I don't know so not sure um, I think I can deal with the mycelium uh, I may think of some stuff to do um, I just don't don't know yet but that's one of the things that may be a little hard to hard to work with now I do have um, you know, I, I do have stuff, uh, like grass and stuff, and I don't know if, if it will go here, um, but maybe worth a shot. So, uh, I don't know. I, I'll be kind of curious to check it out. So, the, um... That's my plans. I have no idea. Like I said, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my base at spawn, but I'm going to move everything from my storage system to farms that, or the sugarcane farm and stuff. Um, going to just actually move all of that out here, probably, and just get out of spawn. I mean, I, I don't want to have to worry about uh, logging in daily just to check on the amount of items are in my chest. Even though if, uh, you know, um, I don't know, if the video that I did happens to, um, you know, scare someone to stop taking stuff, I don't think it will stop uh, until that person either leaves the server or is kind of found out by, uh, you know, um, by, you know, someone, but anyway, I want to quit, uh, rambling. Uh, this is, uh, probably going to be my new base. Hopefully, um, looking forward to, it. I never realized there was little particles and I don't know if that's just, uh, huh? Yeah. I start seeing them all over. That's interesting. So anyway, I'm going to make it back to my spawn, uh, continue to fill up my ender chest and my inventory. And then I will be uh, right back. Okay, well, done uh, quite a bit of work. Uh, you may see my inventory is filled up with some stuff, but let's uh, let's come out here to my somewhat <laughs> base. Guess he was going after Ziggy. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> This used to be my nice fortress. I have packed up and moved. I still got a few things left to move. Let Ziggy chop down the trees because he needed some wood and some saplings. And uh, so yeah, so I got a few more chests. Most of those, that's a lot of netherrack, um, sand. The sand, I may grab some or grab a bunch of it or whatever I can. And uh, I guess go ahead and just do this, some landscaping at it. I, I should, probably shouldn't leave it exactly like that. But um, take down my, my fence and, you know, just get it all packed up. So um, it's going to be it for now. I'm going to do another cut probably maybe at the uh, uh, at my place. But I will be uh, right back. Okay, well, this video is kind of <laughs> kind of a mixture of different things. Um, so, moved my base, uh, didn't really move it, more or less 
tore down for supplies. Um, and well, I showed my new location, tore down my supplies, my old my or my old base, and now I'm trying to farm some stuff. So I kind of don't want to build that much or do that much mining or other things without. Um, I guess you could say proper uh <laughs> yeah proper stuff so um ziggy actually mined a lot of this out and you can see i got 10 wither skeletons now i forgot to put some back in my chest i was out here with him and i may have mentioned it in one of the videos i don't know yet but um i actually have four uh total or four in my uh, base back in my my mushroom uh, biome, and so if I get one more, that would be a total of fifteen weather skulls. Um, so that should be enough. I don't even know if I have enough soul sand to summon that many weathers. Um, so I may do a couple weather fights. Uh, so yeah, this really mixture kind of depressing news as far as tearing down my base, but then. Um, Wither fight stuff. So, yeah. So, this is pretty much it. I think there can be more. This can be redone a little bit. It's not an official wither farm, but nice flat area you can run. I've been killing the pigmen too. Um, got a bow. As you can probably see, I have kind of limited resources on me. Um, just because I didn't want to aggro or die and lose stuff. So, um, but he flattened out this area. Uh, we went ahead and, um, or he went ahead. There's some safe areas, but uh, I'll go ahead and hit those. I've been killing the pigmen too for the gold. You know, we got the gold farm, which is easy but since I'm already have a looting three sword trying to get wither skulls I figured I might as well they're not it's not taking that much of a durability hit I probably don't need to use it on these slimes but they're kind of annoying so I'm not sure if they keep part of the mob cap but um as you can see I've been here for a while I'm kind of like Kind of at the point where I want to stop, but I'm also at the point where, uh, um, you know, I kind of just need one more wither skull, so. He didn't drop it. Let's, let's see if we can kill these other, other three on camera and see if we get anything. Oh wow, we just got a bunch more spawn. I'm about to get myself in some trouble. I'm trying to take out that uh oh dang. Well it didn't stay on fire that long. That makes it sound like there was one behind me. Probably one right around this corner, yep. Come on there, okay, there he goes. Hey, yeah, uh, good me that time. Nothing. Okay, we got those out of the way. So yeah, this is all I've been doing. Uh, thought there was multiple ones here, but guess not. Got several blocks of coal, you know. Um, but uh, probably 
guess it doesn't look like we we may get one on camera, but I'm gonna keep. Uh, yeah, it looked like that guy was coming at me. I'm gonna just keep uh, keep attacking. Uh, well, there's a couple more. <laughs> um, this pig doesn't mad at me now. I've been using my bow to try to take out the skeletons that way take unnecessary damage or I don't take unnecessary damage the other skeleton went down there um, but this place is not not too bad as you can see um, I've been killing them pretty steady um, and as soon as I kill them, they come back, and that's how I've been able to get, you know, technically uh, 14. Got the other ones here too, so technically I've gotten 14 uh, wither skulls from here. So um, nothing. Uh, we're getting a lot of a lot of other stuff. I may need to kill those pigmen, but this is pretty much it. Uh, Hopefully when I do a cut back, I will be, uh, I'll have my beacon set up and that'll probably be the end of the episode. Well, things are not going to planned. <laughs> um, been a, I guess, rather frustrating week for me <laughs> on, on here. So, uh, as you can see, I get quite a bit of stuff set up here. Um, dug a hole I uh, was gonna fight a with weather that turned into the biggest disaster oh you gotta be kidding me oh well and this is gonna turn into the biggest disaster too I guess I can always use health potions um I was actually going to make some strength ones so uh so yeah so um did not go as planned um, basically I, I I released him underground he blew up immediately started trying to look for things to attack now um, since I'm in a mushroom biome uh, he headed straight for kind of leading into the ocean I'm guessing on that side of the the island judging from the tunnel he did and was just going crazy and went rampant all the way through did to do several positive things discovered that I had a mine shaft directly under under me so that's good I guess um, looking on the bright side the um, but I probably died about four times in the process lost tons of gear um, but uh, so yeah so I did was didn't realize that I was fighting him with my looting sword. I did happen to get that back. That one wasn't blown up, but a lot of the other stuff was. So you can see I made a second beacon, um, but it was frustrating. So um, what I'm doing now, this should be strength potions. I made some regen, instant health, um, got milk. I'm not going to take... I don't want to take a pick with me. As you can see, my I have my Silk Touch one that's almost broken and my Fortune 3. I might as well... I'm going to make a stone pick. Just, just for the off chance that I need one. So basically what I'm doing now, as you can imagine, I did get that Wither killed. Uh, you saw the beacon. But my dilemma... It says, like, okay, well, according to people online, I watched Panda's video, um, and he did a nice video of, is it this to extend it? Oh, wait, that, strength for three minutes, or I think this, Maybe I'm doing that right. I don't know. I don't. I don't usually. I'm not big into potions. Um, so, 
Um, but he did a video of uh, pushing the nether's head up into a spot. Uh, that didn't... Um, pushing the heather's uh, head up into a uh, opening in the nether and uh, yeah so I tried that it did not work I found the spot I actually used a chart that he had and um, so basically what I'm going in with I've been spending tons of time enchanting I got tons of books left um, got full good armor so we will see how the, well this goes and I'll be right back okay well I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the episode I did get that wither killed um, unfortunately I realized that when I summoned him I had all my other wither skulls on me so I actually have no more but as you can see I have some beacons set up so we'll go down there and take a look at it and then I'll end off the episode so Tons of frustration uh, between some of the other videos moved out here. I will be starting to do some building in my next episode. Um, as you can see, I have three beacons set up and went with speed, haste, and jump boost. I don't know. I don't know what I think about the jump boost. Speed is good. Haste, of course. Um, I don't have enough gold to space out the beacons. You know, to have. So I may have, you know. Do some mining and then move it. But if we come down here and take a look, have us some some pork chops. So, and you can see, I actually have an efficiency five, fortune two, not the not the best, but I like block sign sign sounds off or something hmm. but yeah so nice thing about this is I mean technically I don't really have to light up anything I'm probably gonna go up to about level 16 and just mine all the way down uh, I'll blow through a lot of picks that way probably but um, uh, I don't know hopefully I can get some gold I may do some branch mining elsewhere but Kind of under under the base, I would like it completely cleared uh, cleared out. Let's see. Um, yeah, I don't know where I want to go, but yeah. So I got this. Um, I'll get up to about Y level sixteen to wherever it should be. I don't want to hit the F three yet just yet. So um, I get up to Y level sixteen and just start going going to town on this it sucks I don't have silk touch that way I don't have to smelt all this these other blocks up if I need them but I do need cobble as well so um, <laughs> it is nice I definitely enjoy having uh, uh, may have the light up so I can at least see um, Oh, uh, there we go. Should use the Fortune 3 on it though, but a lot of diamonds there. Um, eh, nine, I'll take it. But yeah, this is it's a good way to good way to mine. Except for when you do that, so I have to watch out for the for the lava. I have to make sure that all this, I guess, is actually uh, um, in the mushroom biome, so I don't end up uh, causing any unnecessary spawn. So what I think I'm going to do is I am going to, you know, do all my my strip mining and my mining and stuff, and um, I would like to just clear everything from. Uh, 16 down and you know get rid of that or do something with the the lava um but i want to clear everything to, from 16 down and um and then probably just put uh, 
fences or something to section off the chunks. And then that way if mobs spawn or something, they don't really go. Uh, they can't really go anywhere due to too much pathing. Um, and then I can probably put fences from where the mushroom biome it starts and stops and, and everything. So I'll get all that figured out. But anyway, this has been Kinema, and I'll talk to you later.